Hey everybody, welcome to the Fairy of Vibrant Makeup channel and I am going to do a get ready with me. I will be doing a talk over because I just felt like if I do it while I'm talking to you, I feel like it's just going to take way too long. I tend to go a little uh, overboard with talking, I guess, but I just want to do a talk through so that I can kind of focus more on the actual makeup look rather than just, you know, rambling on. So today's look is focused on jewel tones. Now, I wanted to kind of bring in some jewel tones, but not too much. I did put a pop of gold in there because I wanted to use my Serpentina palette from Kat Von D. And this palette, I have not used much because of I haven't done a lot, a lot of videos. I've just been doing Halloween videos. But I'm going to be using the Serpentina palette. And then I'm actually going to plug in a review as well because I wanted to make sure I used it plentiful so that I can give you a full-on 100% idea of how I think it is. So um, the look kind of came based on um, this shade right here which is Venom and it's a matte purple. Normally I'm not sure what to do with matte purple so I just put it as a transition shade and it kind of made the um, blue a little bit more violet than Sapphire Blue but that's what I was going for so I did put that in the crease and I did put the blue shade which is Nile on the lid and then on the bottom lash line I used Scarab, which is a kind of like a cool tone green underneath my lash line. And then I kind of went with something a little more metallic. I used the Milani Amour Matte Lip Creams. This is one of the metallic shades, one of the new ones, called Pure Matteness. So this is the look I came up with today. So if you guys want to know how I got this makeup look for my fall inspiration on Jewel Tones, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to start off with my Becca Backlight Primer and I'm just going to spread this all over my skin just to add a little bit of a glow. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation in Medium Neutral. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then blend it all with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to actually, this is a mix of different concealers that I concocted. It's the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Neutralizer and then my NYX Cosmetics HD Concealer in Fair. I kind of mixed it in a little pot um, so that I can have a little custom made, you know, concealer. So I'm putting that all over my eyes. Then I'm going to uh, set everything and kind of bake under my eyes with my Airspun Powder. And then I'm taking my Anastasia brow pencil. This is the perfect brow pencil in dark brown. And I'm going to start filling in my brows. I did not speed this process up because I wanted to, you to see how I fill in my brows. I'm kind of going a little bit natural here. I don't go really heavy on my eyebrows sometimes. But, you know, sometimes if I want some shape, I do use the dip brow instead. So this is just for a natural uh, brow look. Especially if you already have brows and you just need to enhance them just a little more. Alright, going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I'm just putting that all over my eyelids to prep. Then I'm taking my Peanut Butter Palette, this is the shade Extra Creamy, and I'm setting my primer down. And I'm just using a big, flat brush just to kind of set everything down. Alright, now using the Serpentina Palette from Kat Von D, I'm going to take the shade Venom. And I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm using, actually, it's a Bare Essentials uh, fluffy uh, crease brush. And I'm just using that to put that in the crease. Alright, and then I'm putting that in the other crease. And I'm also blending it out with a clean um, brush. This is my Anastasia brush from one of my palettes, so I'm just kind of cleaning up and blurring those lines. And then I'm taking the shade Nile and I'm going to pack that on the lid. Alright, taking Venom again. I'm actually going to go back in and kind of blend out those harsh edges that were in the crease um, from putting on Nile. So I'm just kind of blending that out. Then 
then of course using a clean brush again and kind of smoothing out those edges. Now taking the shade in my um, peanut butter and jelly palette, I cannot remember off the top of my head what shade this is, but it's the peach shade in the palette and I'm going over the purple to kind of blur it out more. Then taking extra creamy again and I'm going to put that on my brow bone area. All right, now to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Rimmel London Stay Matte um, in, I believe this is natural. And then I'm taking my Cocoa Contour Kit from Too Faced and I'm using the Dark Cocoa Shade and a Vasanti Contour Brush and I'm just going to contour my face. Then I'll take the Light con Cocoa, I believe it's the Light Cocoa. It's the bronzer shade. And I'm taking a Wet n Wild brush and just kind of bronzing everything up warming up my skin because I do look a little pale in this clip. I don't know why I look so pale. I don't know, maybe it was just the way I mixed my foundation, I don't know. There goes my dog. Alright, now taking um, the light cocoa shade and I'm going to sculpt out where my contour is. So I'm just pressing it right underneath my contour to kind of highlight. Then I'm going to take Scarab, and this is like a cool tone green, and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line, because I wanted a little bit of color, and I do want to use jewel tones, and this is one of those jewel tones that I thought would look very nice with the blue and the purple. And I'm just smudging it on the bottom of my lash lines with just the same brush I used to pack on the color on my lids. All right, and then I'm gonna take that peach shade again from the peanut butter palette, and I'm going to lightly blur out the green. So I'm just going to smoke it out just a little bit, but I do go back in and kind of darken up the green since I lost some of that color. Then I'm gonna take Profit, which is the loose pigment in the palette, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner because I felt like it needed a pop of something. So I felt like the gold really helped put the look together. All right, take my Lord and Berry. You guys know I use this religiously for my lash line and my water line because it stays put. All right, using Dose, my mascara, excuse me, choking over here, uh, and just apply my mascara as per usual. Keeping the Kat Von D spirit alive, I'm using one of the blushes that I actually picked up at TJ Maxx for like $8.99, I believe, or $6.99, I believe. I can't remember how much it was, but it was super cheap. They discontinued these blushes because they weren't pigmented enough, but for me, I really like it because I'm able to build my blush the way I like. And then I'm just dusting off that uh, powder. And then I'm going to go in with my highlight, and that is the Wet n Wild highlight, and it's the lightest shade, and look at that glow. That stuff is serious business. I'm just using a Vasanti flat foundation brush to put that highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. All right, finishing up the look, I'm using Milani a more matte metallics. It's actually the Ma metallics liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade, and I said it in the beginning of the video. I, I'm recording my audio right now, so I don't have it right in front of me. Uh, my bad, but I said it in the beginning of the video. But it's a nice kind of like a mauvey brown shade. It's really pretty. All right, so that's the end of this video and tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I hope you get inspired to use some jewel tones for the fall. Stay tuned for more looks, and I do have a review coming up on Monday of this palette. I wanted to make sure I used it a lot, and I wanted to use a different look that I had normally had done, and this is what I came up with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.